Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today guys it's time to play the Grasshopper because I haven't played that thing in ages and I wanted to show you one of my favorite builds for the Grasshopper 5H. By the way, this is Gilf, this is the Grasshopper I like to field on the battlefield. And yeah, we are running the triple large laser and quad ER medium laser build. The lasers sync up in range quite well. We have an optimal range of 450 meters on the larges. We have an optimal range of 360 on the mediums, which means 400 meters roundabout is our optimal engagement uh, length. And yeah, on top of that, we have one jump jet for mobility. We are running quite a sizable engine with the 325, brings us to 75 kph, which is good for maneuverability. And the rest is just heat sinks. So that we can keep the mech cold. It's worth noting, I believe, that the heat management is not the best. Usually I go for something like 1.3 when I'm going for an energy-based build. This is only 1.26 here. If you're not comfortable with this, then just take out the ER medium lasers, put regular medium lasers in there and you should be better off with the heat management. It's just that. But I wanted to be able to shoot at, uh, again, about 400 meters range and uh, that's what we are doing today. Now let's take a look at the skill build here. As you might have imagined, we are going for laser duration as well as heat gen and cooldown as well as a little bit of range on the way down. Then we have almost maximum survivability here. Almost maximum survivability because there is something that is more important than that and that is obviously cool run. You could also actually go for both of the heat containment nodes down there if you have three more points to spare. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a minor, minor tweak here. We go for 60% rated deprivation so that we can dive down to cover and break locks. As a result, the enemies will hopefully lose interest and we can come back again. That's the idea. And then we have the double consumable with the cool shots as well as a UAV. And that is the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you want more of that. Hit the bell icon and now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Hibernal Rift and we are playing Skirmish. And I think I want to get on the high ground rather quickly. So, uh, I'm stuck, by the way. All right, there we go. All right, fine. Woohoo! Hello, enemies. Try not to kill me, please. Yeah, this is... Uh, actually, we dealt more damage than we received. It was okay. It was okay. It was not good. I mean, I personally didn't like getting shot, but I would say as a team effort, I did something there and that was okay. Not great, though. Not great. We can do better. So, what to do? We have a bunch of heavies here, but the enemy's assault makes are pushing us quite relentlessly. So, I would say... Mm, Ooh, I would say that our assault makes are getting under heavy fire, which means that we need to go in now and help them out. Alright, that's good. I want to stay here. Exactly. One more. I don't want to stay here. Wow. Yet again, we dealt a good, a good amount of damage. Like, a real good amount of damage. Was it worth, though? Uh, I don't know. I'd rather have some more armor. Okay. Let's go for the Cyclops. Let's go for, again, the big guys there. Man, I should really toggle on Armlock. Enemies are setting us under heavy pressure, though. Go for him. On the legs. This is not looking great, I gotta say. Give me that Cyclops, come on. Can we get the Cyclops? Center torso, Kilo. Oh, that's the Mauler now. Alright. That Mauler has an LB20, but hey, we got a kill already. That's great. Uh, Cyclops coming back. He's getting pushed by our friends. Wow, I took that head on. Yikes. Alright, it's time to be careful now. It's really time to be careful. Or more careful than I was before. Let's do a second line thing. Um, which means that we're gonna be helping out against those dudes here in the low ground. Come on. Kill that guy. There we go. I would say if you hold the line here, then we have it. Charlie 3. I'm, I know that we have a UAV above us, but I cannot, I cannot do anything right now. You know what? I know I said we hold the line, but it's better to just do something here. That is killing an enemy. Really good. Seven and one. Yeah, my people were actually holding the line. I would say now it's time to actually do the counter push. That's the Mauler. We are in his back. That's good. Mauler is destroyed. Arctic Wolf, one of the last guys, plus something else that is, I don't know where. Um, yeah, he's darting off to the right side, so we'll go down here. 
And that is it, everybody. And that is it. It's all about making efficient trades and dealing more damage to the enemies than they do to you. Ooh, wow. All right. It was scary, though. The Mauler coming in with his big gun there, that was super scary. We didn't get a killing blow, but 11 assist, 1 kill, most damage dealt, 547 damage done, 290 taken, as well as not a single component destroyed. Alrighty, that was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing Domination on the HPT Manifold. It seems... It seems like we are doing NASCAR here. I don't know. We have to uh, converge over to the right side to actually meet up with the assault mechs. And honestly, this mech is more or less a um, low DPS support firing build here. Which means I cannot overpower an enemy that is on top. That means what we're gonna do is the same thing as the was yell. Whoa, is doing there. We jump. Keep jumping. As long as it's safe, we keep jumping. And if it wasn't safe anymore, I would have dropped and, uh, you know, fall back to safety. That's the thing. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. I'm blocked by somebody, by the way. Um, by the champion here? Coming up the ramp from the bottom. Yeah, great. <laughs> it's a king crab, actually. It is a king crab. Let's meet up with the king crab and see what we can do together. As a team. Got a bit of damage on the big door. That's a gauss cat. Yeah, I like gauss cat. Alrighty. Definitely popping the cool shot here because we're gonna be in this fight for a while. Right side, Victor, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, come on, get him, get him, boys. Yay, we got him. All right, all right, all right. Enemies are making a hard circle around us. And at this point, I would say I'm a mildly hot and I should really take care of my heat management. Okay, what about this guy? Heat level critical, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm getting pushed down here. I don't want to be on top alone with the King Crab. So, let's get some, uh, you know, room to breathe here. And then we go up again. Hopefully having some more enemies around. I mean, there's one guy, it's an Atlas. Oh, poor body. Yeah, this guy is just mm, in a very tough situation, to say the least. Right, good laser burn. Wow. I mean, all of the damage that is coming in there is splash damage, so it's not a big deal. That's okay. Ah, crap. Should have shot the catapult. Definitely, but you know what? We can also shoot Hellbringers here. That's definitely the second cool shot. After that, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, you know, bound to my regular heat management. Two and all though. Two and whoa, he's still here. Come on, don't jump. They have two assaults under in the basement. Uh, leave him there. Just leave him there. They are not relevant to the fight right now. We have more people to cover here. Streaks. Yeah, I go for the streak guy. We're gonna take his arm first. Exactly. And we might even take his other arm, too, before we deal with him completely. Level uh, we just kill him. Never mind. Good. Down he goes. Um, Hellbringer in the basement. Target okay, so destroyed. he is dead because he overheated. This is looking very solid already. We are in a 5-0 situation. Bunch of skirmishers still on the high ground, and they set something like two assault mechs in the basement. Which means that we're gonna deal with the guys on top, and then we're gonna drop, and then we're gonna... Wasn't, wasn't aware of the Nova. Um, yeah, I tried to intercept him here. Just block his path. Hey, dude. You're not doing anything. Medium lasers down. The other ones too, please. Come on. Ooh. Trying to somehow manage my heat as well as my twist angle here. I know. Override shut down. Alright. It's time to drop two assault mics in the basement. Let's go. And here we go. Jumping. Where are they? Not here. Oh, there they are. We got an Atlas. And then there's the Mad Cat. That we also got. Sorry. <laughs> Double kill. So yeah, those two Assault Mechs. I know... I don't know if they just hit down here because they were already so damaged. Or if they just hit down there because they had nowhere to go. Because their team NASCAR so hard. Um, I don't know. Either way, the enemies were split. And that gave us this overwhelming victory here. 12 and 1 is just really good. We got three killing blows, eight assists. We got one kill, most damage dealt, 625 damage done, 161 damage taken, as well as five components destroyed. Guys, this has been your episode of the Daily Dose for today. If you did like it, leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you want more of that, and support me on Patreon if you like. The link is down below in the description below, and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.